I've been tagged by Carlene and I want to go ahead and share with you my 2011 favorites and must have and Carlene is known as Pink Scrapper 99 here on YouTube and I'll go ahead and share with you all the things that I love and I can't be without so um, let me go ahead and get started first I want to go ahead and share with you number one and I put this as number one but the rest aren't actually in order but um, these are my absolutely favorites the Tim Holtz tonic scissors these I cannot live without and these are the best scissors that I've ever used so this is number one and then also I also put it in category as number one which is my cutter B scissors these are great for cutting paper and especially when you have to get in all those little tricky corners and what whatnot so I love these number two is my hot glue gun and the reason this one is super clean is I just bought this one today because can't seem to find my other glue gun so hot glue gun number three is Tracy Bautista's Collage Posh. This stuff is the best to use aside from other decoupage adhesives. Um, I found this one at Joann's so you could find this brand at Joann's and as most of you that are into mixed media know or journaling Tracy Bautista does a lot of art journaling. So I discovered this and ever since I discovered it, this is my absolute favorite collage page. Okay, number four is pop dots. And I have a variety of pop dots. Recollection, some forever in time. Doesn't matter what brand, but the pop dots are my absolute favorite. Use them a lot. Number five would be my Tim Holtz Distressing Inks, and I have quite a few colors. So I have a lot of colors, and I tend to use a little bit of all of them, so I can't really pinpoint what's my absolute favorite. And then also within that same category would be my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Some more distressing inks. Number six would be stickles. I have a bunch of stickles. I keep them in this little canister. And my favorite would actually be this diamond or crystal one. So that one I use quite a bit. Aside from the other colors, I don't use as much. Okay, number seven would be Glossy Accents. This is absolutely my favorite too. Because this you could use for your stick pins. You could use it as an adhesive. Um, it does take a little bit of time to dry. But it's really awesome. And also it does a great effect on dimensional stuff so love that um, my Marvy corner punch is just a little corner punch and this I love um, number nine would be scribbles fabric paint this is great for using on any projects um, that you want like a puffy paint look I, I guess and also um, I use it for my deco den projects I only have two bottles um, which is the pink surprise and candy pink and I also have the um, white one which I can't seem to find right now number 10 number 10 would be my Copic marker collection 
and as you can see I have a lot of colors and I absolutely love Copic markers haven't tried anything else um, as these by far have become my favorite favorite so love those number 11 would be my Nana Solar Crest White 80 pound cardstock I buy this at the paper supplier and this is the best cardstock it's very um, easy to use with Copics and it was highly recommended on various sites that do Copic colorings so ever since I've been using Nana it's the only one I use um, let's see number 12 would be of course can't have any project complete without adding some laces so this is my collection of some of my laces it's in a basket like this and it has all sorts of laces these are laces that I picked up at various shops including thrift shopping so this is one of my baskets of laces um, number 13 would be flowers I keep all my flowers in here as it's easy to tote around it's just a little ziploc bag and these are flowers that I have that are from Wild Orchid Crafts, Recollections, maybe some I Am Roses mixed up in there. So, flowers. And then also I have some flowers up there. Okay, so, um, number 14 would be the makeup sponges. These I picked up at the dollar store and these are great for using distressing inks. So I love these. Number 15 would be my Fiskars punch, um, Fiskars, sorry, my Fiskars paper cutter. So that's what it looks like. And I love this cutter. And I use it quite a bit. Okay, and number 16 would be my Decladen charms. I keep them in a Ziploc bag because this is what I've found to be very easy to carry. Um, I have a bunch of those clear jewelry organizers, bead organizers, but I've just put them in here. So as you can see, um, there's all sorts of Decoden charms in here. Number 17 would be my Sakura Jelly Roll Pens. These are great to add to any project, whether it's art journaling or um, adding some glitter to your cards on these glitter pens. Love them. Okay, and number 18 of course I couldn't miss this one and this is my good old handy dandy scotch ATG gun I use this all the time and then number 19 would be rubber and acrylic stamps so these are just some acrylic stamps I have I have a pretty large collection and these are some of the wooden stamps. I just have them in the basket here. And then, of course, these little ones that you could get in the dollar bins at Joann's or Michael's. And then also Walmart is carrying them now. Which is cool because Walmart, you could get them for 97 cents instead of a dollar. And number 20, my final and ultimate must have for 2011 our Somerset Magazine. This is definitely a must have and this is for
getting inspiration, um, ideas, and just looking at other people's work. And this magazine I always must buy as soon as it comes out. So that is my 2011 favorites and must-haves. If okay, I also um, want to tag the following people. That's Purity Faith 700, Sweet Crafty Chick, Live Laugh Love to Scrap, Yoli Bean, and BC Dola. So I look forward to seeing what your 2011 faves and must-haves are. Thanks for watching again. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.